WFNN. Headline News Update. Hi, everyone. As you can see, oh, this is Basil Chapman sitting in for Tommy O'Brien, and it is the one o'clock TFN news update. And we're looking at the Dow up 67. It had uh, a recovery high today of 24,512, pulled back very sharply, but now it's come back a little bit. And you can see that the technicals, the MACD, stochastic uh, on bounce volume are all very strong. So it's trying to find support. But look, this is rising. Uh, narrowing wedge formation and it's trying to break out of the apex of that. So just make it real simple in the next two, three days, if the Dow is able to break above 20, uh, 24,780, that's going to be a very good sign. And if it slides underneath 23,850, it says oh, a bit of a rest period coming up. The S&P, on the other hand, um, has a slightly different pattern. It's made, it's actually gotten closer to the 200 period moving average of 2950. So we make it real simple if in the next two, three days, instead of pulling back uh, underneath uh, 28, uh, I'd say 28, uh, 38, if it's able to get to 29, 36, that's going to be very good because that 200 period becomes a magnet. I think it's going to chop around. I think that it's going to take a bit of a rest right here. And that's, that's no big deal. It's had a spectacular run. The QQQ NDX 100 made a peak, a leg F. And that says to me, there's a greater chance, even though the technicals are very good, that there's some kind of a digestive phase, and I'm just going to draw this in almost like a, an oval pattern right here, going from that side to this side. And it's going to take a little bit of a time, I think, uh, in resolving. There's a mix between Amazon and some of the others. Uh, they've had a fabulous move. Microsoft, I did that in my show just a few minutes ago in the uh, Tiger Technicians Hour. So I think that a little digestive phase is good here, but it's spectacular. If the high of the day, 217.32, is taken out by Thursday and this market is able to get to the uh, two. Uh, to the 220 area. That'll be absolutely amazing. IWM is actually the leader. IWM is spectacular. It's up 2.54, up at a 129.81, and it's kind of breaking out from the patterns that we were looking at. It's leading. It'll be great if there is a bit of a pullback, a sideways move. And in the meantime, IWM could show the way for a little bit longer. I think that's great. Before it was playing catch up, now it's actually playing leadership. Gold has pulled back quite a bit. Um, it's down four. I shouldn't say quite a bit. It's pulled back, and the dollar is trying its best to just get some kind of a rally going here in this H pattern that goes to an M pattern. Stay tuned. You've got Steve Rhodes coming up, Dave White, and then Tom O'Brien. Have a great day. Basil Chapman signing off for this 1 p.m. update. Stay tuned for Steve Rhodes.